Hello everyone and welcome back to Kobe in History. Today we are gonna have a look at some more news stories from the last week. But first we have a quick update on the Notre Dame fire we talked about last time. It is thought that the fire started due to an electrical short circuit. The most important things that were lost in the fire were the cathedral's roof and the spire. There are also some other historical artifacts that were lost but the full list has not been revealed. There were things that surprisingly escaped the flames and remained intact, such as the cross and altar, the crown of thorns, the great organ, and although some windows burst from the heat of the fire, luckily all three of the 13th century rose windows survived. So on to the first story we have today. A 42,000 year old horsefall was discovered frozen in the Siberian permafrost. It belonged to a species of horse called the Lena horse and was extremely well preserved and contained preserved urine, gut contents, organs and most surprisingly the oldest liquid blood ever found. It's actually the second defrosted ice age animal that turned out to contain liquid blood. Last year, Semyon Grigoriev and his colleagues who found this foal actually found the first animal as well, which was a 32,200 year old mammoth carcass. The liquid blood was a surprise because blood usually congeals or turns into powder because fluids gradually evaporate, even in well preserved carcasses like these ones. The Lena horse was found at the Batagaiga crater in eastern Siberia last year, and the foal was two months old and stood at 98 centimeters tall at the shoulders when it died by drowning in mud. Grigoryev and his colleagues have been working on the project of cloning a mammoth and other Pleistocene animals, and they're already trying to clone this horse as well. It's a long shot though as retrieving viable DNA from a long dead animal is really hard. The blood probably won't help the researchers reach their goal either, because red blood cells don't have any nuclei so they don't contain DNA. The researchers instead focus on muscle cells and internal organs to find DNA. But even when they're looking in those places, finding DNA in good enough condition for cloning is very difficult, as DNA starts to degrade soon after the death of an organism. The next story is about a new fossil of an interesting new mammal researchers are calling Simbacupua cutocafrica, which is Swahili for big lion from Africa but it was much larger than a lion and is not related to big cats or any other mammalian carnivore alive today. Instead, it belonged to an extinct group of mammals called hyenodonts. The extinct carnivore lived about 22 million years ago in what is now Kenya. The fossil that was found belonged to a relatively young adult and it was larger than the largest land-based carnivore alive today, which is the polar bear. It weighed up to 1,500 kilograms and was about 2 meters 40 long and stood at a height of about 1 meter 20 at the shoulders. Here we can see a modern lion skull compared to the jaw of this new species. The 22 million year old fossil was unearthed in Kenya decades ago as archaeologists were searching for remains of ancient apes. These specimens weren't given a lot of attention at the time and were placed in a drawer until now, when a researcher stumbled upon them by accident. Compared to modern carnivorous animals, its head would have looked a little too big for its body though. Hyenodonts were the first mammalian carnivores that rose up as the apex predators of Africa after the dinosaurs went extinct. But after a million years of near isolation, the movement of tectonic plates connected Africa with Asia and Europe, and an exchange of animals between those land masses took place. Around the time that this specimen lived, the ancestors of big cats, hyenas and dogs began to arrive in Africa from Eurasia and hyenodonts in turn spread to Eurasia as well. But between 18 and 15 million years ago the global ecosystems were changing 
as the global climate quickly became drier and forests were being replaced by grasslands. It's around this time that hyenodonts went extinct worldwide. We can't say exactly what drove them to extinction, but it's likely that this climate change is a part of it. Which means these large hunters from which the specimens belonged to were among the last hyenodonts that ever lived. And now to our last story, which is a short one. A forensic artist has reconstructed the head of a dog that lived on Orkney 4,500 years ago, which is the first forensic reconstruction of this kind on a canine skull. They use techniques similar to those used in crime scene investigations, and this lucky dog was one of 24 dog skulls that were excavated in 1901 by archaeologists at Cooin Hill, which is a chambered cairn and an early type of burial site. These dogs were domesticated, but they still carried wolf-like characteristics and were about the size of a large collie. The ancient people who lived there likely kept them as trained pets and guard dogs, and may have even taught them how to herd sheep. The fact that these remains were found at a designated burial site shows that dogs were important to these early peoples. So that was it for this week. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos like this one you can check out my channel where you'll find a wide variety of historical topics I make videos about.